Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, I'm Damo and this is my channel. If you are an ex-Jehovah's Witness or are just interested in this type of content, please consider hitting that subscribe button and let's get on with today's video. So there is a part one to this video. If you're interested in that, there is going to be a card up in one of these corners here that you can click on to go watch that. However, this video is going to be that video again, but in a little bit more detail. For those of you who don't know, I was born into the Jehovah's Witnesses. Both of my parents were Jehovah's Witnesses when I was born. I was raised in a very Christian orientated household um, and being a Jehovah's Witness, uh, it's a little bit more strict. Growing up, I wasn't allowed to have worldly friends, as in when I wanted to have someone home from school that was my friend, I wasn't allowed because they weren't a Jehovah's Witness. Also playing sports on the weekend, I wasn't allowed to do that because we had to go witnessing. Witnessing was another one, um, and I don't like the idea of young kids going and knocking on random people's doors. I say that in almost all of these videos. I hate that. I really do. Credit to the Jehovah's Witnesses that they now do their carts. I think that's a little bit safer. But uh, yeah, witnessing it was shit. Another thing was going to the meetings, of course. Being a Jehovah's Witness meant you had to go to the meetings. The midweek meeting was always awful. I mean, you'd go to the meeting and then would finish at like 10. And then you'd be made to stay back to clean. Like, go and clean toilets and fucking wipe the floors. I hated it. I hated it so much. But of course, you can't say that you don't like it because you're worried your parents are going to be disappointed in you. You can't say that you don't want to be a Jehovah's Witness because you're worried your parents are going to be disappointed in you. It's just awful. Mum, Dad, I don't want to clean the Kingdom Hall. Jehovah wouldn't like that. But Mum and Dad, I don't want to go clean the Kingdom Hall's toilets. Jehovah wouldn't like that. Go clean those toilets. And you always had that one overly spiritual congregation favourite person. God. They'd come in like the fancy suit, um, they'd always get picked for an answer. As soon as their hand goes up, the brother on the platform would always pick them. At the end of the meetings, everyone would always go and talk to that one person. That was just shit. Anyways, then it came to school. And then it came to school. You couldn't celebrate anyone's birthdays. You couldn't participate in anything to do with Christmas, Halloween, Easter or singing the national anthem, whichever country you're from, and then you're just labelled as that kid that goes knocking on everyone's door on a Saturday morning. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this story in the part one of this video, but I had a kid in year three who I was made to give a My Book of Bible Stories to, and I gave it to him, and the rest of the class seen me give it to him, and he threw it straight in the bin. That was the most embarrassing moment for my school life, I think. No, it definitely was. And then of course there was home life, where any movie you watched had to be suitable for a Jehovah's Witness to be watching. The music you listened to had to be suitable for a Jehovah's Witness to listen to. Um, the stuff you're reading had to be, you know, acceptable for a Jehovah's Witness. Being a Jehovah's Witness meant being judged by a lot of other Jehovah's Witnesses. And I mean, they judged everything. From the way you dressed, the way you spoke, um, your cleansliness, the movies you watch, the music you listen to, the places to go to, even the car you drive. Everything is scrutinised by the Jehovah's Witnesses. And it's the, the people in the congregation. It's, it's just awful. And the one thing that I hated was the fear conditioning, the fear control, the mind games they played with you. And it's not until you're out of it that you can see the mind games they're playing with the people in the congregation. For example, and I know that I've said this many a times before, when I left, I was told by someone that I must not have loved my granny, who I was very close with, because if I actually loved her, I wouldn't leave the witnesses. That it must mean I don't want to see her again. But then after all of that, I was about 13 or 14 and my parents' relationship was very rocky. It was certainly in the balance. Anyways, when my parents broke up, it was the first time I was introduced to the whole shunning aspect of the religion. Now, being brought up in the religion, you're made to think that everyone who isn't a Jehovah's Witness is evil. And obviously everyone who is a Jehovah's Witness is 
Good. Well, my questions of that started when my dad got kicked out of the Jehovah's Witnesses because now all of a sudden my dad's meant to be evil when I knew he wasn't. And that's when I got introduced to the whole shunning business. Now, I think shunning is a complete and utter load of crap. There is nothing good about it. Nothing good comes from it. Um, it just creates anger. It creates anger towards the religion, the congregation, and the elders that had to disfellowship you. So, of course, ever since my dad left the witnesses, I have never been back, never been to another meeting. But, yeah, so when I was about 13, 14, that's when I was first introduced to the whole shunning and disfellowshipping part of the religion, and that's when I first started having questions about it. So, seeing it from the outside perspective is really cool, because you can actually see how they control the people inside the organisation. But then again, it's also very sad and scary to see just how they control and manipulate their own people. Now, once again, I say this in every single video, I do not have anything against the people in the Jehovah's Witnesses, like people in congregations. However, I do not like the governing body and the way it manipulates and fear controls their people. My mum is still in the religion, so my relationship with her can be a little bit rocky depending on what they're teaching at the Kingdom Halls, and I can tell when they've had a meeting with stuff based on Armageddon and dealing with loved ones that aren't Jehovah's Witnesses, because she just becomes a different person towards me. She acts differently, she talks differently, everything. It just becomes a different mum. Many of you watching may very well know exactly the feeling of having a family member or good friends still inside the organisation, you want to be able to get them out and you want them to be able to see what you have seen because you know if they could see it like you have, they would leave it. You just know they would because it is so obvious when you are out that they manipulate and control their people in a very, very unfair fashion. And if anyone was to tell me that's what a loving God wants, I don't believe them. I do not believe them. I do not believe Jesus would have condoned shunning in any way, shape or form. I do not believe that. For all of you who were ever a Jehovah's Witness, whether you were born into it or whether you came into it, if I've left anything out, which I probably have because there is so much stuff to talk about, please, like usual, comment it down below. I really like reading your comments. I love the interaction and I love talking to people with similar experiences to mine. Once again, if you're new around here, I'm Damo. This is my channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. On a different note, and it's a rather sad one, um, I am filming this on the 15th of March. Um, and sadly, today, New Zealand experienced, without doubt, the uh, biggest mass murder that New Zealand have probably ever seen. I'd just like to say rest in peace to everyone that has lost their lives in that very sad incident. No one deserves that at all. And to the families of those people, my thoughts are with you, as I'm sure everyone else's is. It's a very sad day. Very sad. So rest in to the people that lost their lives. And to New Zealand, I hope you can recover as soon as possible. It's absolutely awful. That's all from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you could relate to something in this video. If you're still watching at this point, you're an absolutely amazing human being. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.